Here we go again. Um, okay, so uh, I've been trying to get matches, um, um, good matches, uh, meta matches, um, but it's, it's it's it takes it takes me quite a while because uh, my games last um, quite a bit, <laughs> so I can't just like I uh, just I guess because um, my turns take quite a, quite a bit to set up and to end. Um, and depending on the matchup, it's uh, it'll be either majority of the time it'll be um, three games. Um, so it's kind of hard. To, it's kind of it's taking me some time to climb up the ladder. Um, but slowly but steady, I'm getting up there. So um, yeah. So uh, I'm, but still, I, I want to get you guys good um good good games, good matches against uh, meta decks to see how. Synchrons do, because uh, um, I've gotten quite a quite a, quite a lot of um, good feedback from when I won this the last month's regional with Synchron. So trying to keep the momentum going, trying to trying to keep the interest alive. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, with um, with this build, I've changed it. It's not the same build I've been running. It's not the same build I ran um, at the I used. That got me first place at regional. Um, I changed uh, the side deck and I changed the one card. I've been switching around one card, been juggling. Because uh, at first I was playing unknown synchron, but I decided to take it out. And um, I tried mind control. I tried Rogeki main. I've tried um, what other card have I tried? I can't remember, but I, I, I right now I'm trying Vanity's Emptiness because um, I, I think the good thing about that is it, it, it can stop the entire play, an entire turn actually. Um, so I'm just trying it out, and I can shut it down whenever I want because I can just activate a searcher and it'll go to grave, and then it'll just go to grave as well. So yeah, I'm um, so right here. I'm playing as Monarchs, and he opened up pretty good. I mean, domain just stops me. Like I mean, I can just twin push it away. But um, I'm scared of him going Karaz and uh, and then just popping my popping my um my monster. So I don't know. I I, I thought like this is this is the, the I guess the better play I, I thought. So then um he uh, that, that's this is another out for uh, for this deck um, when domains up. You can see um, you can tribute something in quick draw. <laughs> it's a bit odd, yeah. I mean, if I had more cards to go off on, uh, it'd be much uh, more ideal, more better. But uh, I didn't op um, I opened okay. If the main wasn't up, but it's up, so I can't do anything about that. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty much if you can't out the main with this deck, it's it's pretty much downhill from there. And then uh, he just keeps tributing, tributing, and tributing on my turn. And that's that, that that that's what makes that card really really good, especially with when it combined with Stormboard. That's gonna be that's that's really devastating when it's set up that way. Um, and what wow, I'm debating right now on going um into more plays because I have Twin Twister. I can use Twin Twister the the um, the domain away and the other the other continuous spell. But um, my options are not looking really good right now. I mean, um, the best move I can think of doing is sending a dandy, which is really weird, cause I can't find dandy in here. It's like it's, it's not in here. Like it's not in the grave. It's not in there. It's not banished. And that that just threw me off. I was like, what? Where to go? I mean, it must be a glitch or something. Cause unless I'm blind, like I'm 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 looking at it right now, and I can't I still can't see it. So something's wrong. Like it's not there. So it's really weird. Like. I was meaning to send Dandy and it's not there, so um, that just set me off a little bit. I'm like, what? <laughs> That's really weird. So then I just decided to send um, a cool bolt because there's nothing I can do. I mean, maybe I thought of maybe clicking off, opening it up again, and maybe it'll show up again, but it didn't. So That's really weird. I don't know. Uh, so right now, I mean, it, it, the game's pretty much over. I'm just just trying to stall to see what else he plays because I know this one plays up the Stalos, the, the Fire Monarch one. So um, I'm just trying to see how I can survive and see what other cards he plays for second no for game um, game two. And uh, he activates that, turns it away, and then it's pretty much over. 
you try not to see and um, that's just gonna be that uh, you can get the storm floor and it's gonna tribute away my monsters I mean I could have just uh, activated formless effect go herald and negate negate it and then but nah it's, it's just it'll be holding on for nothing so then I go to game two and see the Danny's there so I, I that, that's where I was confused I don't know it's really weird but yeah um, so anyways um, I'm gonna go ahead and side in my fog kings because um, they help me um, on my turn because a, a lot of issues that came up was uh, I would do I would try to do my plays and then he would just interrupt me like I said they can do it on your turn the storm four whereas if I normal summon um, fog king if I open it with it I can proceed to potentially. Um, use qu um, qu um, quick draw to synchro and synchro away and then protect him and then he won't be able to use it because he can't tribute so and he can't chain to it because it's just continuous effect so then right here I, I opened up pretty good um, uh, yeah I mean I opened up uh, pr pr uh, pretty good <laughs> I mean, from from what from my opinion because I, I, I saw right away that I can do the formula and the burning blade and it's gonna give me more cards um, and I haven't summoned yet, that's really essential right now because um, potentially I can um, summon a Fog King. So that's what I'm trying to hope to do. I'm trying to draw into a Fog King and hopefully that'll shut him down um, long enough for me to get all the pieces I need to either make a Quasar or uh, just make something overwhelming for him to not to handle. So um, he veils my Librarian. Because I, I think I went a little too fast for him, and I think the images weren't loading for him or something. I, I, and then he, he was trying to read, but yeah, I don't know. I should I, I should have handled this better, but I, I, it was morning, so I was a little bit cranky. So I don't know I don't know what happened. Um, so yeah, um, I ended up drawing the Fog King, which is really 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 good because I haven't normal summoned yet. So then um, I'm debating on how to end my field. Because I still have a Jet Warrior in Grave that I can use. I can tribute a level 2 or lower and then um, bring him back. But um, I'm debating on what to do. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, I could just go... I could, I could have made a Quasar, but I think he could easily out the Quasar. It's an easier out the Quasar than it would be a Fog King. Because a Fog King shuts down his entire higher deck like you can't tribute at all the best thing you can do would be uh, pitch two primes and have them engrave and then just um, bring him back to an end phase and on his turn then exceed for a level five but then he has no extra deck so uh, that wasn't my concern so then I see that I can just bring him back and bring out a beefy a really big um, Fog King at 27 so that's gonna be pretty hard to get over I mean because all these little guys they can't get over him and he can't tribute summon, so that's really good. Um, so his only out right now would be Regeki. Um, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then if he has that, then I lose. I mean, that's just how it is sometimes. So he's, he's. I think he's trying to draw into it. He's trying to get to the... I'm not even sure if he has the Regeki inside, but I know he has um, uh, Twisters, because uh, most, most people are scared of messing with Strick. So then um, he just continues to thin, thin out his deck and then I figure that I'll give him the, um, the continuous because just in case he just manages to get rid of my guys in hell and or some just it'll, it'll limit his plays but then he either way he added some vote to his hand either way because that's what he wanted in the end and then I'm getting kind of worried because why would he add that knowing that I have Fall King but then I figure out that and remember that he um, either sided the Veilers or main Veilers, but he I know he has Veilers in his deck. So I'm assuming that he's just going to Veil my guy, the Fog King, and then storm forth it away. So that's, that's got me worried. But then again, I have uh, another Fog King in hand, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that um, I'll have strong enough monsters to, um, to tribute and make him strong. So then um, he 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 goes ahead and and puts the uh, and activates the uh, veiler, negating my fucking effect, and then just storm forcing him storm forcing him away, and brings out ether and adds half the 
Monarch spell and then brings out um, um, Karaz. So he's gonna end up popping one card. He pops my brain and gets me a draw. Um, so I, I'm. This is still main phase one. I, 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 he was meant to Valor, and I was meant to ask him um, and ending um, main phase one. But yeah. So anyways, I just go ahead and activate Jet from Grave, uh, pitching the heavy slump, and then um, I sink her for a level two, which is four, and that gives you another draw. And right now I'm debating whether to um, have a Triss play, but I'm thinking to myself, why would I do a Triss play when fucking realistically would be a better option? But it's, it's just at the time I was just thinking of other things I could do, and um, that fucking is gonna really, really help again. Um, luckily I sighted in three, otherwise if I kept it as the old side deck it would only be one, <laughs> so then that would be really, really bad. So, um, yeah, but that's the main reason I, I put it in my three inside deck because I noticed that they have that play where they, they can storm forth on my turn. So I just summon that and then go up from there. And it's a good um, level lead target as well because you can just normal summon just like that and you still get the same level. So then uh, I get a, get a even beefier uh, Fog King. It'll be at 37. And that's pretty darn hard to get over right there. And so then I could tell him, okay, now we're going to better phase. So, because um, we were in main phase, um, just just in case some of you were confused, um, we were still in main phase. It's just I like, jumped the gun and I went to better phase. Um, so yeah, um, he's just gonna be um, defending with um, his prime. I set my MST um, and I add, and I end. So he goes and then. Um, He's gonna have to be one for one. Uh, I'm assuming he's just gonna be stalling, just stalling for time because he wants to um, do that move again where he has the Valor and the Storm Force my guy away again. So that, I'm assuming that's what he's doing. So I'm getting kind of worried because I need to draw something else if I want to secure this. Um, yeah, so I give him the the spell normally I wouldn't give him the spell because it'll get, that just gives him another another monarch target to banish so normally I would just give him the prime but I, for some reason I forgot that he didn't have um, an extra deck so in my mind I was thinking I was thinking to myself if I give him the prime he's gonna pitch it for something and then have two engrave and then exceed but I, I, I don't know what I was thinking when I knew he didn't have an extra deck so I don't know so yeah he um he just Continuing to draw into um, just cards like the Vader that, I'm, that he the, the combo he did earlier, where he, he got rid of my first pop king. So then I set, and then he twin twisters it away, and that's gonna be that. And I'm wondering, I'm kind of scared right now, because you know, and I just keep drawing and drawing and drawing and drawing, so I'm getting kind of worried. Um, but yeah, but fucking has, has put, has stopped him from doing so much already, and it's like, when it wasn't, when it would, when I would have lost if fucking wasn't in there, like, no way I wouldn't, I wouldn't have lasted. So then, um, all I'm waiting for is a monster pitch to go into Gardner, to put those little guys to attack mode, and attack over them. So I'm hoping to draw a monster next. Um... And yeah, I mean, it's really good. Oh, there we go. I drew a monster, and it's perfect. It's a Jet Synchron. And so I'm gonna pick um, Jet Synchron. He activates Prime, and then um, I go ahead and just special. Um, and then I Synchro for level six, a Garner, which is, which is, uh, which is. I, I stress this that you can use Garner for this, like this this specific um, this particular scenario. You put little guys to attack mode, and then and then attack over them, attack, attack over them with bigger guys. And it takes out a big chunk out of the other life point. So then, um, he's um, he's going to. Um, I was debating on attacking it, but I wasn't. I was. I wasn't sure because it just add that another um, pantheism. So I was just no, just leave it there, leave it there. So then, um, for sure, I know if he doesn't, if he doesn't run to the Valor or the Stormfold, I'm pretty sure I have it in the next game because, um. 
I can just pitch any card that I draw for Jet Synchron and Synchro Formula and give me another card. And that could be either a junk or tuning or anything, and then that'll just reassure me that I can go to uh, a Quasar play or something. Um, or I can Synchro um, um, a level 8, which is a new, the, um, the Clear Wing Synchro. Um, I'm testing him, he's testing out pretty good. Like, he's, 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 um, he's, um, he's doing good so far. Like, so far I've, I've, I've made him and he's helped me a lot. And just then he crashed his, um, the light one to draw into the, I don't know what the hell he drew into. He had it back something. Um, after his prime, trying to draw into the laser. And then I just pitched the dark hole. Um, doing what I said earlier. Um, um, getting a formula to draw a card, and then I use um, Garner's effect, putting the dark one to attack mode, and that's the good thing about Garner. This is the one of the main reasons um, I mentioned in my videos that he is really, really, really good. Uh, I mean, for this deck, in this deck. So then, um, that's gonna give me the game. That was a really, really, really. Um, Interesting game. I mean, Bunking was just there, just dumb in the game, like straight up. So then, um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to game three. He's starting off. Hopefully, he doesn't open up domain, which is why I'm scared. So he just he just passes, and I'm debating whether he has Vaders in hand, Maxis in hand, and I'm take I'm thinking to myself, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. So. I, this is what I mean by Twin Twister giving you these awkward plays where you can um, discard the cards you need to discard because you need um, um, these monsters in grave. So then I summon Junk, I, I'm expecting a Veiler, but he doesn't have it. So then I bring back Quibbled, and Quibbled is really good because it, it can bring himself back. It's, another, it's a free special summon, and it can help you synchro into... Um, whatever it is that you need to synchro into. So then, um, right now, um, I think I was, um, I think it was a pause, I think, for earlier, I think, on this part, on how, how I was a bit rude, just like um, at the beginning of the video, I was rude to him. Um, I was just going too fast. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what I was, I was just, I don't know, cranky or something, I don't know. It happens. <laughs> Not often, but it happens. Um, so I'm gonna soul charge. I'm gonna go into Librarian and um, I'm gonna activate Jet Synchron's effect, special Jet Synchron, and then I'm gonna go into Level Eight. I'm going to Level Eight Excel because he was boosted from his effect, that's so why he is um, Level Six. Um, and then I'm going to explain to him what what happened um, because I think it was a bit too fast again. Um, but yeah, so then I level the Excel and I go into um, a Charge Warrior, which is really, really good because it's going to give me two more cards. It's going to be a Tooting and a Fog King, and that is good, but I have already summoned, so that's not going to be of any help. Um, so then I will proceed to just draw into my combo pieces. And that's really, I, I love to see that. I love to see these tunings and, or quick draws off the librarian draw because it will extend my play. And again, another quibble. I have two quibbles in the grave that I can utilize for later. So then I just keep synchroing, keep using um, librarian's effect. Um, so I'm debating on what to do and I'm trying to see if I, I have enough room. Because I don't want to clog my field. And then I end up going for level eight, which is the new the new addition to the extra deck, which is really really good. So my end goals now it has changed um, from Quasar Herald Garna to Quasar uh, Crystal Wing Herald and Junk. So that's really really strong, opening up that field. Um, so that's what I'm trying to get to right now. And luckily the Quibble are engraved to help me get there and. Um, just trying to figure out the way to, to, to just end with that field. Um, it's a bit tricky at times because sometimes you miscalculate and, uh, and you can't take it back. I mean, I, I, once I make a move, I, I really don't like taking it back because I feel like 
don't know, like it's cheating or something, so I just leave it at that. So uh, that's why I think and make my moves um, very carefully. So uh, I end up going to Quasar, and I see that I'm able to end the field that I was attempting to go into. Um, so I end up going to Garna uh, to protect the Herald, and then I use Global Boots Effect, it'll give me the last formula that I need in Cobbles and Grip, and it'll give me the Herald that I need. And that's just gonna be it. Um, once again, this one was a bit long, uh, but thank you for watching, and I'll see when I post the next match. Uh, thank you. Next time.